After one of the most scenic winter wonderland drives, we have made it to Lake Louise from Banff. <laughs> it is just stunning. It really does feel like we've been transported into another world. <laughs> it's freezing, but it's so, so pretty. So behind us is probably the prettiest ice skating rink we've ever seen. And Clara has a big fear of ice skating, but we're gonna break that fear. Go out on the ice, we got our little skates. <laughs> We're gonna suit up. And so he's like, let me go ahead and show you how it's done. And so I watch him face plant onto the ice and it just has given me even more nervous sweats. <laughs> we'll just go slow. I don't think I've ever been this scared in my lifetime. <laughs> Alright Claire, come on. Step on baby. You got it. Slow and steady. Oh my god. You got it. You got it. <laughs> I'm more steady than you. You got it. And then you finish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, breathe, Claire, breathe. I wish I had those things that they have in the US. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> Guys, she's doing it. She's doing it. <laughs> Not like I'm steady at all. You're definitely the most dysfunctional on the ice right now. Dysfunctional? <laughs> we're, thri we're surviving on the ice right now. Man, I'm sweating so hard. It definitely warms you up. I don't think I'll ever go that fast. Here, let me film you. <laughs> wow, look at that view. Yes, Chad. Oh my gosh! I'm a little unsteady! <laughs> I don't know how the hockey players just go like... Don't try! I mean, oh my gosh! <laughs> we are wrapping up our first lap around the rink. And we are definitely improving. Very really proud. proud. <laughs> Look at my hair. It's all white and frozen. <laughs> That's how cold it is out. <laughs> All right, I have left Claire on the side. She's gonna soak up the atmosphere, but I'm doing a little lap of my own. Whew. This is so fun. All right, guys, look at Claire's hair. It is frozen. I keep looking around. No one else has their hair like this. And Chad was saying it's because I'm panting too much. Chad keeps wanting us to speed up yeah. to Olympic speeds. Olympic speeds. We just wrapped up the past two hours on the ice and it was honestly top 10 experience here in Canada. It was mm -hmm. so much fun because we were able to look out at the mountains and see other people twirling. <laughs> and we honestly got a lot more confident as we kept going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the times I don't like exercising just because I feel like it's boring. But with yeah. ice skating, oh my goodness, it's so fun because you know, you're thinking about so many different things at the same time. It really yeah. does take your mind off of everything else yeah. <laughs> but right now we are going to return our skates and go and check into our room here at the fairmont before we check in i want to just commemorate claire's <laughs> ice beard i do like it i've been really maintaining it for the past two hours <laughs> 
folks have a good time and dial zero if you need anything. Okay, Absolutely. perfect. Thank Thanks. you so much. Bye for now. Have Bye. a great day. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Hey, So in order to save a little bit of money, we have decided to get a bunch of microwavable meals, which we'll be having inside today. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we're both pretty excited about it because microwavable meals are really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it brings back a lot of nostalgia for me because that's usually what I would eat when we went on my family vacation. So mm -hmm. um, we're gonna dig in. We've got two frozen chicken pot pies. Yes. We have some macaroni and some leftovers from Timmy's, Tim yeah. Hortons from this morning. So. It's gonna be a great feast. <laughs> yes. We have finished our microwave dinners and we're heading to the pool in our robes. After dinner, Chad opened up our closet and he's like, oh my gosh, there are robes in there. And so immediately once we were done eating, we put them on and now we are heading down the hall to the pool because I think we also saw a really nice hot tub and we're gonna go soak after spending all day out in the cold. I'm so excited. <laughs> Claire's like, are you sure you can wear the robes around? And I'm like, yeah, of course. <laughs> pool time, pool time. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't, just because it's a nice hotel. That has so much energy right now. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm also so tired from ice skating today. up swimming and steaming but I think we're gonna end it here for the night and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning from day two on Lake Louise. As we've been doing on this entire Canada trip, we went to sleep with the curtains open so that we could see the view this morning and we woke up to snowfall and of course the most beautiful view of Lake Louise and the surrounding mountains. But now we've bundled up and we are walking along the lake shore so that we can kind of see it from different angles and perhaps also see the hotel we're staying at from afar. <laughs> so beautiful out here. Look at all this fresh powder. <laughs> Completely ruined by Chad, who's been dying to make a snow angel. I'm trying to dig still the ice. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, carefully get up. How do I? <laughs> wow. wow. It even has the head. <laughs> The butt. <laughs> How's it looking? Good, keep digging. <laughs> nice. Good? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> no. Oh, mine is so cute. It's like a little version of yours. <laughs> So right over there is a frozen waterfall. It's apparently 100 meters high. And you can tell that it's like the bright blue color of the water. 
which I think is really cool. But there are people climbing up there and honestly, it looks really dangerous. We'll stay down here yes. with our angels. <laughs> <laughs> we would be the ones that would fall. Guys, I think I could see a moose. <laughs> it's hurt. <laughs> Forced bathing. <laughs> now wrapping up our winter hike, which was absolutely mesmerizing, it was so beautiful, and we're almost back to the hotel. And from our window, we have watched as they've opened up this ice bar. So we're gonna check that out, see what they have going on there. <sighs> but we could not imagine a better hike. This is just so beautiful. The ice bar is now open. Yay! Apparently today is their grand opening, so we're really lucky because it's also our last day at Lake Louise. So I'm really glad we got to enjoy it. So I decided to get their mold wine. And I think the last time we did have mold wine was over in Finland um, when we were in Rovaniemi. <laughs> and they're also using the same alcohol that we tried on our spirit distillery tour over in Banff. Um, so it's really cool to see that same company over here. Whoa strong <laughs> <laughs> so i was ready to go inside and read a good book but claire is ready to build a snowman yes and we haven't built a snowman since what the grand tetons national park yeah which was probably a year and a half ago yeah so we're now going to attempt to build the biggest snowman we possibly can <laughs> right over here <laughs> i don't know how big it's gonna be but it'll be good it'll be good <laughs> all right get the ball rolling <laughs> literally <laughs> <laughs> Don't have that much water. <laughs> I could either waste it on throwing it at your face or I could make the, the snowman. <laughs> Do not throw it at my face. I will be so upset. Okay. Alright, does it roll? I think so. Alright, let's try it. Oh my goodness. We need okay. Actually what we <laughs> ah! <laughs> Gimme. What we need to do is to go by a river. Two seconds later. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> it broke. <laughs> I wasted our man-made snowball on throwing it at chat, so we might actually have to give up on this snowman idea. <laughs> it doesn't want to, you know. It's too powdery. Like, look at this. It won't stick. It'd be so good to snowboard in. That's true. I could bury you. <laughs> you can make me into a mermaid. A snowmaid. A snowmaid. <laughs> Sounds so pathetic. <laughs> Hand of thine. 
Lake Louise being situated farther north, the sun falls behind the mountains before it even reaches five in the evening and the sky just slowly fades through every shade of blue until it hits a dark navy. And then there's just something so warm about the yellow lights that makes you want to cozy up and simply just get lost in a good book. And tonight we're taking in the quiet of the lake and the forest and doing just that. Tomorrow we'll be heading even farther north to Jasper where Chad's gonna take me skiing for the first time ever. So if you want to join us there, hit subscribe as we travel to 50 countries. And with that, we'll catch you next time. Should all the be forgotten?